Hi, this is Mo Pitney, and I'm sitting with CountryMusicRocks.net. All right, we're here with Mo Pitney, and you recently released your debut single, Country, and it's so great hearing that on Country Radio. Tell us a little bit about the song and how it came to light. Well, uh, I wrote this song with uh, Bobby Tomberlin and Whispering Bill Anderson, which was really cool. Whispering Bill is from the Grand Ole Opry, one of the most prolific country songwriters since forever, really, and uh, one of my heroes, so it was amazing to get to write with him. And the first day we hung out, we just kind of talked about country music and, and country lifestyle and, and just kind of summed it up with the word country and what we thought it meant to us. And I think the, the place that we got to is that country was a place in your heart. Uh, we weren't even really planning on writing a song, and, and we kind of had talked about everything that's in the song by 2 o'clock in the afternoon, and we realized we had the song written before we tried to write a song. And we just kind of put everything together in a few hours, and, and, and there it lay. There was a song. I didn't even know if I'd record it or not, let alone let it be my single. But uh, after we recorded it, it kind of took a different life, and uh, we're really proud of it. And I'm... I'm I'm glad that it's on radio and being heard. Yeah, absolutely. We're loving it. Um, and it definitely has a more traditional country sound to it, which is it's great and it's so refreshing. And the industry, fans, um, lab labels, everything, they've really embraced this new sound that you're offering. How does that feel to have everybody just kind of embracing you and your new music? Well, it's really uh, amazing because right off the bat, you, I had a natural fear, as probably everyone does, are, are people going to like it? Uh, but me especially, I had a lot of people get into my head um, and kind of called me stupid, really. It made me feel stupid for making country music or something that sounded a little more traditional. Uh, but I stuck to my guns and I just did what I, I do best and what, what I naturally do. And then when I went on the radio tour, it was amazing that the more places we m went, the more people liked it. And that really just grew my confidence in, in knowing that there's still people out there that long to hear what I long to hear or, or long to play, you know, so that that's really cool. And as you're still introducing yourself as a new artist, does country sort of set the tone for what's ahead for you and your new music? Yeah, um, I, I'm, I don't want to tr change, I guess, if that's what you're saying. I, I uh, Every decision I make is from my heart. Every decision I make and every note I play, uh, it comes straight from my heart. And, and I, if my heart never changes, my music will never change. Uh, and so uh, I'm working every day that, that outside sources or, or motives don't ever change my heart like money or fame or praise of man. I get, I get my happiness from the music and standing on stage and not from getting a paycheck. So hopefully, uh, hopefully I can stay who I am for as long as I can, uh, hopefully forever. <laughs> so. And you, speaking of country, you just recently wrapped up the video and yeah. premiered that, which was exciting. So tell us a little bit about that and what was one of your favorite moments making the video? Um, it, it was amazing to make my first video. One of my favorite parts in the video is I got to have my dog in the video. I, I raised and trained Brittany Spaniels, so uh, I got to take her out on the set and and the director said, you know what, I've worked with probably 40 or 50 trained music video dogs and he says your dog's more well trained than any one of all of those so that was a compliment i i just train them to hunt and okay. and stuff like that so i started doing that young i actually have a litter of puppies coming up in eight weeks so uh if anybody wants puppies out there you can look me up on mopitney.com but <laughs> but uh anyways that's that was my favorite part of the video uh, as far as shooting and then they did a lot of shooting with me not there actually because it's a, it's a bunch of different people uh, kind of getting everybody on the same page from different parts of the earth, you know, and uh, explaining that country's a place in your heart. It's not where you're at. So I didn't get to see all of it, but looking back on it, there's other cool things that I loved. Well, you got to see the end result. Exactly. <laughs> and I had to put my stamp of approval on it. There you go. <laughs> in addition to the new single, what else is in store for you this summer and throughout the rest of the year? Um, I don't know. <laughs> no, I, I'm finishing out my radio tour. Uh, we're waiting on the single to hoping it gain some more traction. It's climbing. It looks like it's doing well. The video's helping it. Uh, we're hoping that it goes up and up. And uh, then when it when uh, that finished, we'll we'll move to the next single. But we're hoping just to push it forward. And my record hinges off of how well this first single does. So we don't have a release date yet. But if we can get the song in the top 30s uh, and moving up, we'll release the record and. And I can't wait for people to hear kind of what else I do, you know. So. Absolutely, that's exciting. 
And I know I got to see you perform, which I absolutely loved it. But for folks that haven't had the chance to see you perform yet, how would you best describe your set? Uh, it's more of a jam. Uh, I got a band that just loves country music and uh, that understands a traditional sound. And it's very loose. Uh, it's not a very rehearsed set. And I did that purposely because I just wanted to people to know that I'm up there just like my blue. I used to play bluegrass. So we would just go up and I would just name a song and we would go off the set list and just play and we might mess up or we might not land in the same place but I want the audience to know that I'm just there to play music and, and to see if something magical happens so uh, and, and it's traditional and, it, and it's country music so if people want to hear some steel guitar they can come out and hang with us. <laughs> Um, now we all have bucket lists and wish lists. As an artist, what is one thing that is really high up there on your country music bucket list? Well, uh, one is one that I already accomplished and that was playing the Grand Ole Opry. And my first night on the Grand Ole Opry was unbelievable. Um, past that, I don't know. I mean, I mean, I, like I said, as far as stages to play on and stuff, that, that was the one. But I don't really idolize that stuff as much as I just do. Yeah. Uh, playing the music you know I mean that's where I get my joy and, and I think I've already found my happiness and everything else is just icing on the cake yeah. um, but but the Opry would probably have been one of the bucket lists and I'm glad that I got to do it Sorry, off. exactly <laughs> <laughs> and then finally country music is consistently evolving and growing in your opinion what do you think sets the genre apart from any other genre Wow um, it's beginning to be a very diverse genre, which is really cool, which in other genres do that, um, but sets it apart. I mean, I mean, through the years, country music has always been about story songs and, and about um, realness and, and just real life and, and um, what I, uh, wow. Uh, I think what it sets it apart, though, would, outside of the music is the people. Uh, everywhere I go, um, like if I run into a stage like this, if they've had rock groups or different types of genres come in, they said, you know what, every country music artist that's ever come in here treats us like human beings. And they're humble and they're down to earth and you can tell they're just so grateful to be here. And maybe other genres don't have that. I don't, I don't know, but that's just a hearsay, what I've heard. And maybe that's one thing that sets it apart. So. Well, thank you so much for taking the time to catch up with us. We wish you the best of luck with the new single. I know we're loving it. I love hearing it on country radio, and hopefully we'll see you out on tour this summer. I can't wait. Thank you so much. Country can be in the middle of the city. Country can be on a farm. Country ain't even a place on the map. It's a place in your heart.